Okay, here we go. This is a game that's incredibly, ridiculously expensive on PAL, box and unbox. Not a fair price on it. I'm happy to show you. Next up then guys is um, a DS game that I wanted to buy on Super Nintendo and I wanted it boxed and I could only find it unboxed and it was in terrible condition. It is... What's happening guys? Gemma here and back for a retro gaming pickups video. Um, it's going to be the haul from the United States. It's got one, two, I mean there's loads and loads of stuff. One of the items, in fact loads of the items I'm really stoked about but one of them isn't a game, isn't a console, but it's a super rare item from the gaming world, so just, just don't go anywhere. Now, before we come to that haul, I wanna talk about some just a couple of things that I got off Jess for Christmas. I did have an early Christmas present, which was the Zelda chest. Remember when I did the unboxing, the video will be up here, on the, you know, the limited edition guides. Um, so that, that was really nice. That was an early present because I'm, I have no patience when it comes to gaming stuff. Um, but I did the unboxing. Um, so, in fact, one of them I'm actually filming with now, um, I got a Nikon D5300 and I bought myself a Rode mic as well. So that's a really, really nice gift. Again, there'll be a picture on screen of the camera, um, but yeah, so, so there you go. So that, that's two things that I can't really kind of show you, but what I can show you, I'm going to glide over here, um, I got the new 3DS, I opted for the kind of the regular version because I wanted the, the buttons, the SNES colour buttons um, and it's just the kind of black cover plates, I do need to get some face plates but I'm really struggling to find them um, in stores, obviously you can get them online, excuse me, but I couldn't find any in the States, I can't find any over here, so you know, but nonetheless I'm super stoked to have this and you've already kind of seen me waving this about, let's pop this up here, um, the only game I believe released um, for the new 3DS is our Xenoblade Chronicles 3D. Um, haven't played it, it's still in cellophane. We kind of flew out to the States on Christmas Day, so we opened all our gifts Christmas Eve, and I haven't had time to even open this yet. So that, if I can put it somewhere, maybe we'll just pop it here for now. Um, that That's awesome. So the Zelda chest, the camera, the 3DS, the new 3DS, and Xenoblade Chronicles. Obviously I've got other stuff, but that's all the gaming stuff. So thanks Jess, you're a star. That's a lie. I lied to you. I can't. <laughs> what an idiot. Star Wars Battlefront Collector's Guide. This was her surprise, um, which wasn't a surprise at all because when you leave a bag open in the middle of a bedroom floor full of stuff with this on top, me walking around the house two and two, I knew this was for me. She was mortified when she realised that she'd done that, but she's crap at surprises. She's too impatient. So yes, yeah, so I've got the guide as well to go with the awesome game. Okay guys, so you've probably seen the store tours that I did um, in the cars here. Um, Vortex Video Games was an amazing store in Waterbury in upstate New York. I'm going to link their Facebook page below, you have to check them out. Um, I'm going to show you the games that I got from there first, but the gaming item that's super rare um, is this. Um, this is a Namco E3 press kit from 1997, and again, there'll be some additional bits on screen. Um, so you don't have to kind of take it all out here. Um, now it's missing a few things. It's missing um, some of the, the the leaflets or the posters for games. Um, and there were some tech and stickers originally out as well. But I'm not too fussed. And the reason I'm not too fussed is because what it does have, Pac-Man Go Zone, um, right here. This is card, not paper. I believe this was a cancelled game. So the fact that I have an original Namco kind of poster slash ad for a cancelled game in this press pack is pretty darn sweet. Um, I just had to have it. It wasn't too expensive, but I really do like stuff like this. Um, so yeah, a Namco E3 1997 press kit. That is a super cool find. So next up then guys is an NTSC N64 title. Um, I got Resident Evil 2. Now if I was to pick this up in the UK, it would be incredibly expensive. I have wanted this on the Nintendo 64 for quite some time and it was sat on the back, you know, behind the counter and I clocked it and it was a brilliant price as were all the games in Vortex. Um, this, again, super stoked, probably one of my top 
purchases. I'm looking at other games here, there's plenty of cool purchases, but I was especially stoked to get this because I've been searching for it for quite a while. So you're mainly going to see Super Nintendo stuff uh, now guys, um, it's obviously all NTSC to go with the rest of my games on here. Um, I got a copy of Batman Forever, um, a lot of you guys have been telling me that this is bloody fantastic um, on, the, on the snares and again, I haven't come across it too often on the PAL um, on snares but you know this again was really really decent price so I'm looking forward to playing that. And a game that I have never ever seen on the Super Nintendo. Um, when I go to the States, I always look for games that are either not available on PAL or are available but are too expensive to buy on PAL. Things tend to be a little bit cheaper out there, I don't know why. But I've never ever ever seen this. Primal Rage, now I had it on the PS1, yeah, PS1, I had it on the PS1, uh, but I've never played it on the Super Nintendo. So I was like, Dude, I have to have that. And I really like the cool picture. Um, again, I'll put additional pictures on the screen. It's a really, really sweet piece of art on the front. Love the font. So, wasn't a huge fan of it on the PS1. So, I'm hoping that this uh, makes a decent impression on me. Let me know, guys, if you've played it. Drop me a comment below. And this thing. Now, I'm not spinning a GameCube in my hand. That would be ridiculous. Thanks, Otto. Um, this is a GameCube. Otto is one of the, the owners, by the way. Otto and Chris, big shout out. Uh, this is a stress ball GameCube, and now I love stuff like this. I'm so kind of geeky and quirky. I mean, I, I have to put it well out of the reach of my cats because the, I had an Atari uh, joystick that they chewed that was a stress ball. So I'm going to keep this well out of their way I, again. So thank you so much, guys. Vortex Video Games, check them out below. Okay, here we go. This is a game that's incredibly, ridiculously expensive on PAL, box and unbox. I got a fair price on it. I'm happy to show you Turtles in Time. Finally, finally Turtles in Time. It does need a little clean up on the bottom where I pulled the price tag off, but I'm elated to have this. Um, again, you know, I think this was $45, which is about £30, which isn't bad for an unboxed copy. There's a little bit of damage to the sticker at the top, but I don't care. It will sit nice and firmly on my shelf. Guys, this is the first one from Pastime Legends. Let's see what else I got. Now, you need the Nintendo scope for this next game, but I'm not too fussed about it. I doubt, I mean, the, the, I don't, I've never ha owned a, um, an American Super Nintendo scope, so this game obviously I can't play, but I wanted it. I have an unboxed copy. It's a really nice, decent copy of Yoshi Safari on the Super Nintendo. Um, it is in really good condition, actually, and it's box complete and it was a decent price. Again, have it unboxed right there, actually. You probably can't see it, but it's there. So I'm happy to have it boxed as well. Two more Super Nintendo titles. Got a boxed Nintendo Entertainment System title down here. And got a DS game I'm gonna show you. But before that, guys, um, got a copy of Cool World. Now, again, I haven't played this. I was reading um, a magazine, actually, it's down here. I was reading a magazine recently, and it was talking about how good this actually is. Um, who knows if it's the case, have you played it? Let me know. Don't think... Well actually, if it had a PAL release, I've never seen it. So that was the reason I picked it up. It was probably, you know, one of those purchases that was an impulse buy, but I picked it up because you barely see it on PAL. Oh, Mega Man X is gonna fall. Um, and guys, I've never seen this on PAL. Ren and Stimpy, now I'm struggling to read this. Ren and Stimpy Vidiots. Vidiots, so oh, I get it, ha ha. Um, again, it's probably a pile of shit, but let me know if you've played it, what is it like, drop me a comment down below. There's title now, Jess picked this out, Star Tropic, she's been talking about this for quite some time. I've never played it, but somebody did clock it when I did the store tour and said, hey, nice, nice one, I'm picking this up. So, one can only assume that it's a pretty decent game. It's box complete, yeah, it's box complete, um, and it's a nice condition as well, I always do think that NES games suffer the most. Oh, excuse me, over Super Nintendo games for longevity, but this is pretty damn sweet, so hopefully it will play on our Nint on my Nintendo, which is there. I know some NTSC games will play in PAL region uh, consoles, so fingers crossed this will work. Next up then guys is um, a DS game that I wanted to buy on the Super Nintendo and I wanted it boxed and I could only find it unboxed and it was in terrible condition. It is Chrono Trigger. 
and it's on the DS. Now again, this is a really nice condition. Everything is in here. There's a little poster in here as well. I can't even open it. Um, there we go. Um, so yeah, it's got all the manuals, the warranty cards, everything. And I just thought, you know what? I'm struggling to find it boxed on the Super Nintendo. I'll grab it on the DS. And it was one that Jess kind of spotted and I came in. Now, I do have a Nintendo 3DS XL. In fact, I'll show you. This is an American one. Um, the NES version of this got this last year and this will play on that so I'm quite happy I know a lot of people are going to be saying you know oh you, you know this won't play this won't play but it will because I have um, an American one so that's super super cool final thing guys was a little surprise from Jess she went into Target and $15 on clearance was the Rockstar Games collection so we have Red Dead Redemption and um, LA Noir GTA Liberty City Stories and Midnight Club Los Angeles complete collection. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty nice. It's in a cool slip case as well, still in plastic, as you can probably see the reflection on the screen. But yeah, I think for $15, which is about £10, that's a pretty awesome uh, kind of gift. And as we know, the PS3 and PS4 and PS Vita aren't region locked. So that's always another kind of bonus to go into the States because you can find things, you know, like this that you can bring home and enjoy as well. Last few things guys are some guides, uh, you probably saw this in the store tour, me holding this up, Zelda Four Swords game guide, again something I don't see a lot of um, and I wanted to kind of snap this up because I managed to acquire a copy of the game over the winter, over the actually autumn months at play, so that was super cool and I got Super Mario Bros. 3, free, free. Um, for <laughs> the Game Boy Advance um, and again this is a really nice condition and you don't see it that often so again it's something I just snapped up. I'm becoming more and more interested in retro game guides um, you know I do at the moment try if I see a guide out for a new game I will snap it up and typically I keep them sealed but buy an additional copy because I do think these things hold their value and as a collector as well as a player I understand that value is important so yeah I think these things pretty cool. So there we go guys, um, if you enjoyed this video, um, please like, comment and subscribe, I've got loads of cool stuff coming, um, and let me know, what do you think to the haul? Um, decent, not decent, is there anything you could recommend for a future trip to the States? Thank you for watching, you guys have been awesome, your support, and happy new year. Um, guys, my name's Gemma, take care, and I'll see you soon.